Hello again, everyone. We are live. Welcome to all of you. It is Thursday night, the 25th of January, 2018. Let me uh, tone down the uh, side chat there. Welcome to Annie. I've got my good buddy, uh, Lime Screw here. I've got my girlfriend, Maxine Hammond Beggars. How you doing? Uh, Sky Carl, a special... Uh, special shout out to you, and I'll tell you, I have been having a field day, and you deserve this, my friend. I have been having an absolute field day on your channel, Paper Clock. You've done so many really cool projects that uh, you are absolutely amazing, my friend. And I just want to tell you and give you that shout out, Sky Carl. You're a pilot. You're, you know, you remind me of like a, a modern day Thomas Edison with this cool stuff that you, uh, that you do. So good, good for you out there in Ohio. It's awesome to, uh, you know, you're one of the best things that's happened in 2018 in an otherwise pretty, pretty dismal, pretty dismal kind of year here with all the rocking and roiling of the, uh, of YouTube and everything. So I want to thank you, uh, for being here tonight along with everybody else and my friend Maxine. Maxine, we have a big calendar and we're crossing off days till, till we hang out with uh, with Maxine and that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, just to let people know, not, nothing big deal, but I did get an inquiry today about, uh, about this whole Elvis situation here. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. It's not any big deal. It's just, it's, it was simply a a make contact kind of thing that, that just to confirm that this is the correct information and stuff like that. Okay, just the correct contact stuff. And uh, that was it. So it's kind of a little bit mystery to me. Hey, Tom, Tom, how are you? Uh, thank you. Yeah, I was really disturbed at the uh, Tom, Tom says uh, great video today on the Rosie O'Kelly channel. I was really disturbed by I got in a little flame war with, and I don't usually flame people with somebody that was a little dissing about, uh, you know, the military. And uh, I shouldn't praise the military, and I shouldn't praise warriors. I should praise peacemakers. And I thought, you know, hey, Jessica, I thought without the warriors, we wouldn't even have peace. There wouldn't be a chance of peace. You would be under the heel of dictators and uh, no counts like Kim Jong-un, and I don't know how many people in North Korea have ever had a truly happy day, as opposed to the let's all put a smile on our face and walk up to Great Leader Statue with our flowers in hand and uh, do some really serious ass kissing on that front. You know, I went through that stuff in China when I first went to China in the early 90s, there wasn't anybody in China, hardly, okay? 1989, the Tiananmen uh, Square incident had happened, and it was even even a, a decade, you know, it was 89, and even a few years later, when I got there, it was all military, all people following you around. You'd have two PLA people following you around, People's Liberation Army. Every shop that I ever went to, to, every restaurant, every place I ever went when I was in Beijing. I had people camped outside of my hotel door. I had people standing there when I ate breakfast in the morning at the hotels and stuff. And I can't, I contrast that with uh with today and the freedoms that we enjoy and yeah i get a little pissed off when i think about police states hi phil nice to see you when i think about police states and uh that well thank goodness over the years things changed but it was a very very delicate time there were very few westerners led in and because i i was uh working for the royal bank of canada which was considered okay even though I was an American passport holder, it was really a close call on getting on getting uh, visas. And most visas in China are either single or double entry visas, and they're good for 30 days, and that's it. It's not like Taiwan, where you go to Taiwan enough time, like I did on business. Uh, yeah, I'm going to check that out. Joe says, have you been over to Coffee Park to see the loan house being built? We're going to check it out. But uh, we'll get over there. The weather's just been so awful and uh, rainy, and we just haven't really felt like doing anything. Hi, Annie. Nice to see you. Hi, Susie. 
So that kind of stuck with me when I think about police states and existing like that. I'd be on the subway. I would, uh, you know, I would go buy a ticket for a certain uh, ride on the Beijing uh, transit system, which was really rickety back then. It was all Russian made stuff. And you would declare which you would buy the ticket for the stop you wanted. Well, there'd be PLA guys down on the platform watching you get on and then undercover guys when you got off of the, you could always tell them out there. And it was very, you know, they were watching you every step of the way. Uh, you know, it was just, uh, it really left an impression on me about that. Tom Thompson, I'm having a stressful day. My mom's husband uh, walked out and is now sending threats. I know, Tom, Tom, you have been through hell. I know that. Hi, Eddie. How are you? Nice to see you. I know that. And uh, congrats to Amanda May for coming back. She had a uh, hangout last night. I was running one and I did not see it, but I did enjoy that uh, this morning. But uh, yeah, freedom and liberty and fighting for that stuff. If we didn't have a strong military, I don't know what the shape of the world would be. I don't know what the shape of Asia, I don't know what the shape of Europe would be today. If it didn't take uh, didn't take the death of a lot of people to make sure that we could stand here and theorize about it and, and sit here and theorize about what might be in this this beautiful perfect world of uh, of uh, you know where it's all kumbaya and peace and love and we take we take classes in how to be tree huggers and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, Tom, Tom, you've really been through hell with all of your injuries and stuff, and I just I feel awful about that. Okay. So, yeah, I just, so I just, in disclosure, I did get that today. Number two, uh, I did, uh, you know, because I care, I did call, uh, did talk to uh, Marshall today, and he's pretty, pretty sick right now. I think he's got uh, some intestinal thing that's just kind of tearing him up. So it's important that uh, you get Gatorade and get fluids in, electrolytes. Uh, you know, because diarrhea, after a day or two is amusing, two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days. I mean, we, we sometimes hospitalize people for, for chronic after six or seven days. So you have to really, really be careful. So uh, about that. So I just, I kind of counsel a little, him a little bit. You know, guys, I worry about people that live in, uh, live in vans and very small, confined places like that for extended period of times, especially during flu seasons and all that. Unless you're uh, really meticulously cleaning with, uh, um, yeah, you're okay, Tom, Tom, I get you, says I'm a survivor and strong-willed, I will be absolutely fine. Well, I'll just give you a shout out anyway, uh, Tom, Tom, you're a nice, uh, you're a really nice guy. Uh, and you're you're one of the really nice people I've met through Tucker Poon's channel, and I've 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 met a lot of great people over there, and it's amazing. Uh, it's amazing how you can find hey King of All Blacks. It's amazing how you can find some common ground with people, and uh, you see people on a chat side chat, and then you communicate with them in person, and it's often uh, an entirely you find a very you know, a nice person, a really nice person. Not that these people, you know, Tom Tom's not brutal on chats and things, but I'm pretty impressive, you know. So I've been thinking about, uh, uh, let's see, Phil said, I know all the live chats are doing it, and many people are seeing it as if I've been asking them. Yeah, there's been a lot of live chats going on. There's a lot of stuff going on here. The board is still in motion. I, I, uh, Disclose, I do talk to, uh, not talk, but I do message Tucker Poon usually on a daily basis and stuff. And hi, Vicki, nice to see you, sweetie. Just an exchange of, of information, you know, to understand, uh, try to get a, a handle of what's going on with this whole situation and look for, you know, kind of a time, kind of an end game on that. So if I could, you know, if I could be so bold to put it that way. Uh, Carl said, I was at the VA yesterday and about 70% were wearing face masks. A lot still. Carl, you should have one too. 
this time of year, you should absolutely have a mask. You we should not go into any medical facility. You should not go into any doctor's office. I don't care if you think you look goofy or not. I remember when the bird flu epidemic swept through Hong Kong and people died. You know, at first people thought it was a big joke and then they were scrambling for masks and uh, God love the fearless doctors and uh, nurses. They just went right on treating people and they died in pretty big numbers too over there. So do not think that this influenza, this, this vaccine this year like totally missed the mark on trying. You know, it's like a nuclear missile. These guys a year ahead of time, they try to project which which strains of influenza will be coming and they and they gear their vaccines towards that but sometimes some years you have like a gigantic miss and this is one of those years that has a really gigantic miss to it uh a glutton for punishment i'd rather friends say face to face than behind them. well you know i told tucker poon okay tanya how are you doing girlfriend I told, uh, yeah, it's like Missy Jen. Anytime she goes out anywhere, uh, and she had a, uh, she had some medical stuff. She, I'm not going to disclose what she had done, but uh, she always wears a mask like that because with her uh, treatment and chemotherapy that she is on, she uh, doesn't really have much of an immune system. Okay, thank you, Diane. I haven't watched the third video. King of All Black says, wash your hands, don't grab the bathroom door handle with bare hands, and don't shake hands, exactly, and don't hug people, and do not touch your nose. Do not touch your nose. If you're going to t touch your nose, grab a tissue. If you're going to eat at a buffet, and this is what I suspect Marshall may have, if you're going to eat at a buffet, do not just grab those tongs, you know, because you're going to be picking up a chicken leg and eating that, and you're going to... This is how people get norovirus on cruise ships because they share uh, the, the top flight cruise lines will serve your meal. You know, you will not touch it. So but on some of them, it's the buffet line and you go through and some people wash their hands and have good hygiene habits, especially after using a toilet and other people don't. And you're sharing all that with them. So. You know, uh, Annie says, I'm a germaphobe. Hi, Emerson. Nice to see you. I think uh, next week, barring any kind of uh, any kind of earth shattering stuff going on, I'll be just back to uh, one or two hangouts. Uh, uh oh, Diane said, OK, Rosie, fiasco on the first grocery store vid. No, King of All Blacks, I've never been able to. I've never gone on a cruise uh, before. I have not. Bill said, don't let anyone in your house who has had a cold or flu or chest infection the last six weeks, the hospital told me. Yeah, you got to be very careful. Oh, Tom Tom said, a doctor gave me MRSA two years ago. It's wonderful. You know, medically resistant. Uh, sweet. I hate sitting in a cubicle on a toilet and hear people go straight out and no more chance. It's pretty, it's, it would be very rare with women, but I have to attest that uh, it's very common in women's room as it used to be pretty common in men's rooms that a lot of just go out, especially if, if urinating. So just just protect yourself. It's very early for influenza to be rearing its head. But I thought about today, I thought about living in a van and I thought about hygiene. And I thought about, uh, um, okay, Keith Gregor says, Rosie, I've been on a few cruises. Cool, cool. You know, some of these ships just come down with norovirus and they spread like wildfire through there and it's a lot of the commonality you're sharing a ship with a thousand fifteen hundred people with varying states of hygiene and cleanliness and it's very it's very sketch you know who's on the ship with you and uh i see people go through the line like i said in, in buffets in vegas and stuff and i'm i'm you know i'm, I'm kind of guilty i don't let jen you know, I like to try to help her uh, serve stuff and uh, do other things on there. But uh, uh, I think from now on, definitely be picking up a, uh, you know, a napkin or something like that and grabbing that. Okay, Emerson said, it's nice to see you having a hangout every day. I'll be honest, I have very 
have a very little one and it's nice to listen to you while doing feedings. Oh, that's nice. Good. Okay, I enjoy them. That's awesome. I'm thank you. I want to thank you, Amazing Road, because you really saved me again this winter. Uh oh, Susie. <laughs> The Bergs is back. Bergs, you better tune out. There might be the E word mentioned now and <laughs> tonight. Um, uh, I don't know, CJ. We'll see what happens next week. Nice to see you, my friend. So uh, get your dance shoes on. Skilled nursing facilities are prone to norovirus, yes, because uh, a lot of people, you know, I don't like to see those facilities be dissed because a lot of people go in there with really good hearts. And they really have a conscience and they really want to do their best that they can. And other people go in and it's just slap and tickle and it's just a job. And uh, a lot of times you'll smell the nursing homes reek of urine and things. I mean, I'm in and out of these facilities, dropping off records, picking up, uh, picking up uh, uh, ref stuff that's needing referrals to specialists. Tom Tom said, I like your hangouts because you talk to everyone. Thank you. Nice beat down O'Kelly. There we go. <laughs> That's my new neck nickname now. <laughs> beat down O'Kelly. But I'm very curious to see how things are going to play out because I presented uh, Tucker Poon with a real, real dilemma that I've been sitting on with this whole situation is unfolding Lacey Rocks thing. It's going to be interesting to see how he works it out. Yes, I hope you had a great Australia Day, Roscoe. <clears throat> yeah, CJ, so do you. I guess I picked it up from you, CJ, following you around. <laughs> There's no bigger man on YouTube than CJ Brown Bear Flips, I'll tell you that. Let's see, Maxine, you said, you have a point about people's hands. I wound up with fungus on the top of my left hand, and I almost have it cleared up now. It's from wearing the gloves all day. Good for you. Good for you. Road rage equals roadkill. We're all wondering what Chucker Poon goes in for his wig fitting and complete. We know you have uh, his widow balls in your purse. Well, Walter White, he's kind of the smartest guy in the room over there. You're the funniest guy, but I'm just saying, you know, uh he he now sits in the same situation that I did. I promised I would never disclose who I thought Lacey Anon Lacey Anon was and I won't, but I'm just saying it doesn't mean other people don't don't come to the uh uh good conclusion. So, you know, that's that's where I stand. So I think he'll be on the same he'll be on the same balanced on that knife edge that I am. So we'll, I'll be interesting to see how he resolves that because I think that, uh, you know, he's he's a very – Tucker Poon is a gentleman. He keeps his word, and uh, that's what I really like. How come you didn't stick up for the old Navy vet? I would have said something to the Road Rager because the Road Rager, when he saw me coming over with the camera, he took off first. He had already started moving away as I got closer. I stood there for a second, and he peeled off. Uh, yeah, this Lacey, huh? The Lacey girl. Yeah, and then, uh, okay. And uh, Lacey claims that I got, uh, I got Lacey a strike. And I'm thinking to myself, for what? You know, what content is Lacey? <laughs> what content is Lacey Rocks put up? Really? You know? I mean, Tucker Poon streaming all, you know, excerpts from Rosie's you know, Alamo stuff and from God, everything under the sun. I mean, who in the hell would flag that? What would you have done if he hit the old man? He would have never laid a finger on that man, Bergs. I would have definitely run up and really intervened. And I don't care if he, uh, I don't care if he uh, whomps my ass down. I don't give a shit. <clears throat> the guy looked like it was big, one of those big tough guy talkers that's pointing at, uh, it's pointing at people. So when are you inviting Tucker Poon to the ranch show? To <laughs> you got a friend in the diamond business, Walter White. That's funny. The new Mary Tyler is real when she's here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who can turn the world up with a smile? T-Berg, you can whoop some ass with those lunch lady arms. Wouldn't you? Uh, thank you, CJ. t Berg, you wouldn't have stood there. I would have gone up and said, look, stop it. Stop it. 
But as I stood there, I saw he kind of looked out of the corner of my eye, and that's when he started to take off to the left. He also thought I had a camera. Uh, had a camera there. Walter White, don't be jelly. Don't be jelly. Don't be jelly, because I'm going steady. Walter White is, is jelly. You can turn the world on with their smile. All I need is a hat to toss in the air. Huh? <laughs> I used to watch the Mary Tyler Moore show. Uh, T. Bergs would have beside, intervened besides being a fellow, but I'm a psycho Italian from uh, New Jersey. That's cool. Bergs, I didn't even know that you were a vet. Yeah, I'm saving myself for Coates 9500. Coming at you. I'm real. I am a real jelly. Tucker Poon took my man, Rosie, from me. There we go. Walter White, the smartest guy in the room. <laughs> uh, let's see. Roscoe said that Poon guy is not playing with a full deck of cards. Actually, I I uh, I admire the way he does business. I'm allowed to chat in there. I'm blocked out on another uh, on some other rooms. Despite the fact they put up there, this person, no blocks, no banning. This person, no blocks. <laughs> hey, TR. And I'm there laughing, seeing that. <laughs> uh, Walter White said, Tucker Poon does a real good job promoting you. Nice. But no, I think he does a good job. Uh, you know, this guy only wants to get to, this, to get to the hardest stuff. That's the bottom. Yeah, he's a man of his word. Yeah, I mean, he goes by the code. And if you tell him something and you ask him to keep it in confidence he does so very good Bergs I didn't know that you look way too young to have served at that time I guess there's two T-Bergs I don't know because the picture I got sent looked nothing like the uh looking nothing like some guy that would have served in 91 to 94 so you're going to pay your taxes Carl the cuck says you're going to pay your taxes and that's all there is to it Very good, Tanya. Discharged before desert. We have a lot of people that are vets. And I just, uh, uh, yeah, would I have done more if he started? Absolutely. Uh, I'm not sure Walter White and uh, TR was in the CBs, 86 to 94. He was uh, overseas in, uh, in, uh, over in uh, the Middle East. Thank you for your service, TR. I stupidly left you at... Uh, today so cb's called to build it and do it yeah there we go keith gregory was in desert storm keith gregory's uh usn ret so i think even if the guy wasn't a vet come on uh bergs i would have stepped up and said something too you're gonna really hit the old guy because he took you right away or something really You know, I don't even like cursing, and he was cursing the guy. So, okay, Ram said, "I love the military life. I would do it again." Yeah, I mean, I've I've got Bobby, I've got uh, the boss, so many people military. Uh, Rosie, why did you flag Lace and get him a strike? I thought you said, that. "Isn't that funny?" Like, what's there to flag? Good night, Jonas. Thanks for coming in. Take care. You know, my family's all from Galway. Galway Bay down there. So just, just to let you know. Um, no, explain to me. Somebody come in and explain to me what, what, what was ever flaggable on Lacey Rocks' channel. She never rolls videos. You know, I shouldn't say she. He never rolls videos. He doesn't have any content at all. He just chose, hosts the chat room. The funny thing is, them fools think Tucker Poon is one of them. Well, no, it, it is well known he has been your <laughs> yeah yeah. Good night, Jonas. Have a good one. Yeah, Galway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, what? Who would? Uh, what? What's a flaggable? What's a flaggable offense on the on the hangout? I mean, really? A comment may have been flagged. I mean, they're posting links to my 
porn stuff and not, you know then i'm going to worry you know worry because somebody says something bad over there come on i mean let's use your common sense lacy is full of it lacy's just trying to strike back because uh let's see rosie just flag him for not having to hang out set their doll on same thing happening this is not adult uh this is not adult rated tea bag uh let's see I have no idea, teabag. I wonder where Todd Class. Todd Classy is Bodie McBoatface, and is probably also uh, Jorge Zomfear. <clears throat> Would be my best guess. So, but flagging and other stuff, uh, you know, who cares? Lacey's just a burner channel anyway. Really, what does it matter? Lacey spends more time in two other hangouts than uh, than uh, his own hangout. Can you tell me how Bobby is related to Bobby's just a friend, Eddie? Guy I used to date years ago before Jen. So you have an idea what's stepping since you roll everywhere now? Move along, boy. Uh -oh. Walter White and C. Jerry Brown Bear flips are going to go at it. <clears throat> But uh, I've, Tucker Poon has a curiosity, and I like that. He wants to see. He wants to get to the. He wants to get to the bottom of stuff. And he is. Did you and Missy Jen have a PO box? PO box eight four five seven Santa Rosa nine five four zero seven. It's on the. Uh, it's on our about page there, uh, Emerson. So enjoy. Uh, you'll be able to find it over there. Funny how you have a wrench free chat, Rosie. And they were bitching about free speech. Yeah. There's only one wrench I'm going to have on Saturday night by request. Uh, yeah, I, uh, people have me blocked off on their chats. And I, I think it's, I, I kind of laugh because they have that little thing, foo, nomadic fanatic patriot, no blocks, no bans. Uh, uh, talk, well, Tucker Poons does, but there's stickers media, no blocks, no, <laughs> no bans. Yeah, I made a video I like posting to get flagged. I did make it a doll. I'm not sure if that had anything to do. I'm not sure, TR. Uh, yeah, because I'm only going to have uh, one wrench, and it's somebody that's just going to flag if somebody puts uh, puts personal stuff or something on the side. So that's it. Nothing else. I got in here late. Who's sick? Oh, you put – oh, I was just talking to uh, – just touching base with uh, Marshall today because of uh, this inquiry I got from a uh, lawyer just to establish my contact information. And I called him about that, and he said that uh, he'd uh, he'd had uh, like diarrhea for a week solid, which is pretty serious. It's you know I think living in a van, you got to really have, and especially if it's closed in winter time, and especially if it's cold. You have to really be having your hygiene has to be on this really high, uh, you know, it's got to be on high alert status at that time. Uh, yeah, it's not good. That's what I say. I said, you better get some Gatorade or something. You know, your electrolytes get low, your potassium, sodium imbalance. And next thing you know, you're passing out or something. So it's not, uh, hey, Wiggles. Yeah, it could be Bergs. I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, there we go. Tucker Poon said he wants you in a bikini now. I have to wait till tomorrow morning. I have a good one for uh, Nor. I got a good thing for Norbecker tomorrow. It, Maxine said, is a Walmart bag sanitary? I don't know. It's not something I would do. He pulled the toilet out, Emerson read. Uh, which I which I think was a mistake. So, but that's not my rig. It's not my class B. Yeah, but the flu that's gone. Or many people have died. There's been people died in our area and stuff from the Bay Area. Yeah, great. <laughs> that's it, Annie. Greater yeah, Gatorade is great for the green apple splats. <laughs> mm. That's great, Susie. I'm glad Vince takes good care of you. That's wonderful, honey. But you got to keep up your electrolyte. If we have people that come in and say they've had that for a week, we're really, uh, you know, at the hospital and stuff, we're pretty much on, pretty much on, uh, 
pretty much on high alert. That's a long time to, to go through that. We're thinking there's something going on in the gut or something. It's it's uh, could become dangerous. Uh, lots of kids have died from this one. Yeah, that's what I try to tell people to wear your mask. If you go in a hospital or a medical facility, preppers should have these anyway. They should have boxes of these. Okay, because if you think about it, when the shit hits the fan and bodies are laying everywhere, you're going to have disease galore. This might be the thing that saves your life, not a gun. So that's my prepper statement on that. Well, CJ, I, you know, Lacey Rocks makes up stuff. That's it. That's great. Line screw. Plus, you keep your rig clean, right? There we go, Walter. But, um, yeah, Jen's in the kitchen. I washed the dishes. She's just putting them away. So, pizza night. Bobby was over here for a while. Uh, no, I mean, you know, you, you have to think about the Lacey with flagging. Come on, really? The person just, just, just wants to hang around and go back and forth. Yeah, Sammy the Pooper is a messy girl. Uh, love Sammy the Pooper. Sweet. Sweet. Sweet dog. I love Sammy. Sammy's a, Sammy's a big girl. <clears throat> yeah, I told Jen you might be coming down to visit us. She's all, like, hyper excited. Is it true that people have been threatening uh, Jen, Rosie? No, they've not threatened Jen. Nope. Nope. Like I say, Jen, Jen is really, Jen doesn't partake in all this stuff. You know, she's not, she has my back, of course, and, uh, but I've asked her to, I've asked her to just stay out of this. Do the content that you like to do. She likes to do tractor reviews. She likes to do uh, MS updates, and that's good stuff. I, I enjoy. I watch it. I comment on it. So, Emerson flagging is horrible unless someone is making a video putting out your private information. Why flag? I mean, I'm kind of the same way. I mean, my, you know. There's quite a few parody vids, and you know, I'm out on the front of the Titanic and going through the gates of the Alamo. There's a lot of things that I'm not, I'm not flagging people. What, what fun would it be on YouTube if, if people like Stickers Media and uh, uh, Tony Mullins, the hillbilly tech expert, if these people couldn't put fun stuff up? So. <clears throat> Oh, Rosie, not true. The only one that gets knocked out is Skiway. Well, good luck on that. You know, I'm going to tell you guys about Skiway. Are you... <laughs> I'm going to share this secret with you. Skiway has no friend. It has no friends. Skiwe takes no side in anything. Skiwi's the great interrupter. Skiwi can be anybody's avatar. And uh, he goes into Tucker Poon's chat. He's got the toothless bulldog thing. They immediately wrench him up. Skiwi reels off a few insults, causes a little bit of confusion. And five minutes later, he's gone through and banning everybody that doesn't have a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> and Tucker Poons, that's Skiwi. That's what Skiwi did. I hung for him with him for years on uh, on Tribes Chat. That's what Skiwi does. So, hey, JK, how are you? Yeah, that's what I say. Walter White says Skiwi holds his own. He doesn't give a flying who cares. That's right. That's what he is. Uh, YouTube sells for me, but why bring drama? Into it? Uh, I don't know, TR. It's another thing that scares me. <laughs> Ski Wee's a hoot, I tell you. He calls me F word and stuff like that, but he says, I appreciate you don't have, who would have thought the uh, F A G doesn't have, uh, doesn't, is the only one with a wrench free chat. <laughs> okay, CJ, take care. Good to see you, my friend. Get your dance shoes on. You'll be doing a few. Uh, you'll be doing a few rounds. Yeah, that's it, Walter White. 
Yeah, that's what I say, TR. It's a good place to make friends and and uh, have fun. But uh, this is this is really the Lacey Rock show. It's not the Rosie O'Kelly Elvis show. This whole thing was engineered by Lacey Rocks. So consider that. Now talk about uh, Tucker Poon because he's he he absolutely knows that. So we're all just we're all in the wake of the boat going by. I got timed out on Poon's chat because I asked why are so many wrenches in his room. <laughs> well, you've got, uh, you know, people run their chats the way they want. So I will have one chat on uh, on the, the big Saturday night, and that will probably be Greg. And the only thing he'll be doing is taking out any personal information and removing that. Uh, let's see, Lacey Rocks is a slow. She went from being a troll to caring what people think of her. Um, yeah, I don't know. All of a sudden, uh, Lacey, instead of riding the high road and kind of laughing at everybody, it's like, uh, you know, the antagonist now. Uh, is there anyone you particularly hate, Rosie? Well, I had my uh, Von Helton. I had my run-ins with him, Tom Kennedy, years ago. I wasn't fond of either of them, some of the NOE, the Network of Evil, but now I've been inducted into the Network of Evil. So um, these are my fellow travelers now. Okay, take care, TR. Thanks a lot. We'll see you around. You know, I don't really hate anybody, but uh, I really had my go rounds with Von Helton and uh, uh, Tom Kennedy. Still, that freedom as far as last night. I nervous laughter. Yeah. Oh, Von Helton's a legend. He's down in Texas with his. Uh, yeah, still making pizza tomorrow night. You bet. Hey, Francis, nice to see you, baby doll. And thank you for standing your ground and not throwing me under the bus as if I'm so as if I'm some self-proclaimed advocate for trans. I'm the furthest thing from that in the world. I'm here to have fun on YouTube, and I really appreciated you not falling into that uh, thing. Thank you, Lion Screw says you're a gentle soul, Rosie. Yeah, to run your own chat. It's all fun. Oh, okay, TR. We're just talking about all kinds of. Uh, all kinds of stuff tonight. I said the sm I said uh, what do I have it? What's it called? What's the title of the chat? I have uh, hibiscus. Do I have I don't even know what the hell it's called. It's Thursday night. Lawyers, illness, and the smell of hibiscus. And that's a reference to um, to line screw being in Hawaii there. So. I might be going to Hawaii. I'm not sure. So, <laughs> Vex is checking them out. Yeah, J.K. a true friend. I mean, that's what Francis is. Francis, uh, Francis isn't going to be swayed by nonsense. <clears throat> you got to learn how to spell it. Happy Meal. You got to spell it before you can use it. Yep. Yeah, can I bring Sammy the pooper? Of course. But just remember, if you bring your if you bring your C down here, then I can't. You know, we've had some rain, and I don't want you to get caught in the back there. So it would be out right here. I would put the uh, small rig in my rig in the back, and then uh, I would have you guys right there again and be able to plug in and all that. And you have use of the uh, you have use of that uh, that shower and everything back there. Yeah, okay. Annie says, my sister-in-law sent me a picture of Bubba Gump's shrimp in San Francisco. They went to Alcatraz. That's on Pier 39. <laughs> if you go to Hawaii, me and Tucker Pier and have new bikinis. But are you going to fill it out like I do? That's the question. Uh, let's see. Mike Lowell said, hi, Rosie. I don't hate, I really don't hate you. I just don't want to be banned at Tucker's. Really? They have a band festival over there? Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Mike Loyal, the smartest guy in the room. 
trucker on the road making money, making coin, ham and egg and being happy and uh, hitting those truck stops, getting that Wi-Fi and seeing what the hell happened today. And he's probably got a real nice crystal, beautiful girlfriend. Let's see, TR, there's a lot of good people here on YouTube and assholes as well. It's been a pleasure interacting with the new crowd I meet. Uh, with the new crowd I met interacting with you, Rosie. Yeah, TR, well, <laughs> check in with me next week. I got some real, I got some, uh, I got some zeros on my tail. Yeah. I've been flying through, uh, fly, flying through a lot of flat guns. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> well, Andrew, you're always welcome. So, you know, uh, you don't have to rush it. Like I said, springtime is a much better time to come down. It's more beautiful. There's more stuff to do. The uh, the weather is better, and it's a much nicer, uh, much nicer time to be down here. Thank you, TR. You're the best. We're gonna be going out to the uh, we're gonna be going out to the gun range Sunday. <clears throat> TR is our, He's got his wonderful mohawk. He's a good looking guy. He puts on his sunglasses. He looks like a young De Niro in Taxi. Love that. Susie said, do some folks actually expect to tip to chat? I guess, uh, I don't know. You'll have to talk to uh, somebody else. Yeah, I like the mohawk. Okay, line screw, that sounds good. We'll set something up. I just think you'd enjoy it. We get this, it'd be like being in Vancouver. You know, it's kind of the dreary. Oh. <sighs> Let's see, Miatas are nice. Yeah, I always like Miatas. They're pretty cool, you know. Yeah, TR, meet Walter White. Lee Walter White <laughs> of YouTube parody fame. Uh, this is a guy that hates the scripts. <laughs> He's not down with the whole Elvis script, which is kind of funny. I mean, these guys always scream about the script, the script, the script, the script. Some things are just spontaneous. A line screw said it rained all day today here in Vancouver. Uh, let's see. They're skiwi. Boy, these oversensitive queers over Tucker are still crying with their wrenches. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Skiwi, I saw, uh, I saw you kind of cleared the room over there today. Berg said, can I set up a meth lab in your shed? <laughs> yeah, Annie, welcome. Uh, say hi to Skiwi. You can be the official door greeter over here. <clears throat> Skiwi doesn't like being uh, being wrenched out. Let's see. Might small snow a whole centimeter tonight immediately. About. It got really cold here today. I went to work this morning and it was like a uh, 56 degrees and when i got out at two o'clock this afternoon it was uh 49 degrees and, and kind of windy so but the sun was starting to come out a little bit it's all right as long as skiwi's not beating on me <laughs> like i said skiwi ain't for anybody skiwi is for skiwi skiwi all you have to do is assume one of your other 50 500 identities and just go over there and you know you'll be all set go in they're gonna wrench you up <laughs> don't even think that skiwi <laughs> uh,
Oh, boy. I'm just curious, uh, Skiwi, why you why you jumped on uh, why you jumped on uh, Gerald? What was it that uh, Skiwi said? Look at all those sad guys. There's Tucker Poon, what a great stand-up group, guying you up on a Elvis impersonator. Yeah, I don't know. You know, Skiwi, a lot has changed. I remember. Uh, a couple years ago, when I first started hanging out at Tribes, Tribe was all, Tribe would always be f the wrenches, you know. And uh, I hate wrench chats and screw the wrenches. And then it reached a point where uh, people had wrenches in there, and it was it was kind of crazy. And then it reached a point where I got banned out myself. So uh, you told me too. Well, yeah, don't flip on me. I still want my payment. You know, I I love Gerald. He's so cute. Jen and I just wanted to give him a sandwich squeeze and <laughs> Oh, Johnny P, who are we talking about? Skiwi or who? Uh, Skiwi clones Michael Oil. Yeah. Hey, Alter Egos, nice to see you. I mean, this is uh, you guys got to understand about it. you're kind of probably new to Skiwi. Skiwi has no Skiwi just is uh, upsets the apple cart the whole the whole checkers board, the whole chess board, Skiwi just comes in, you know, just like that. That's what Skiwi does. <clears throat> Francis, I hope you're doing good. Not going to be long till we see you. About a month. So we're going to go get us some good Italian beer. We're going to get a pitcher of beer. You bet, Yajiro. Thank you for your service, my friend. Top of the line you are. Yep, that's that's vets are top of the heap. And I don't care what anybody says. I don't care, you know, I had I had a little dust up with Nora Becker that a lot of them are shit bags. Yeah, some of them are shit bags. But you gotta take the whole group of military, you know, and uh, it's like uh, I don't care whether you volunteered to serve, I don't care whether you were drafted, it's all equal to me. So uh, Skiwi said he's going to clone Tucker Poon. Skiwi can clone anybody over there. I'm just, I'm just trying to tell you, uh, you know, you guys got a big problem on your hands now with, uh, with Skiwi. Skiwi's got a history as tiny Elvis and that one with the pink bra, the Elvis with the pink bra, the hot pink bra that none of us could ever find in the store, that lovely color. No, I don't know, Johnny P. Skiwi is, uh, you're going to find having Skiwi around is, uh, yeah, it was almost roadkill, Susie, yeah. Uh, yeah, just, just, uh, just be, just be aware, alter egos, that, uh, you know. <laughs> the stories I could tell you about Skiwi over the years. <clears throat> you guys got a real problem over in that chat now. <laughs> I'm just saying. You got a real you got a real devil in that woodpile over there. Uh uh, yeah, alter egos, I don't know. I mean it was I enjoyed I enjoyed going over the chat. I mean uh Oh, oh, there's an imposter. That's what I'm saying, Alter Eagles. There's going to be a lot of, uh, I mean, I just, once, I just want to say, once the genie's out of the bottle, <clears throat> once you rub the lamp, that's it. So, I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, excuse me. There's gonna be there's gonna be hell to pay in that chat room. I'll tell you, it's something the rest of us if uh... um yeah. So what else? Look at that bitch that made him come in here. I don't know. It's I'll tell you, alter egos. He's gonna be a million people over there now. It's it's. Uh... <clears throat> Oh, boy. Yeah, Alter Ego said, yeah, you've always been really cool, Alter Egos. 
Poonies Cole, Walter White, Norbecker, Nomadic Fanatic Patriot on a good day. On a bad day, he's your worst enemy. But on a good day, he's all right. I just try to stay out of the wheelhouse, you know, swinging and, hey, AC, nice to see you. Personally, I just speak out loud, said Susie. And that's kind of fun. Tucker Poon, I like having you there. Rosie and Lacey. Uh, um, yeah, well, that's because Tucker Poon is a gentleman. So I said you could put it on next day, do whatever you did, but uh, just as a courtesy. And I would extend the same thing to everybody else. And he agreed. So that was very nice. Um, so what else is going on? The windows. Uh, let me think about the windows. I was talking to uh, talking to Elvis a little bit about the windows today. And when you put in replacement windows, see, when you put in factory installed windows in like the camper vans and stuff, they're already really tight seal. That rubber is really new. And you really don't need to put any sealant around them for a long time. So we were talking about today, he's got the pop-out kind where you can open it up and let ventilation uh, in. Oh, there we go. Dave Dickey's already on overtime. Five days, 10 hours. Well, that's what you wanted. But but he didn't think you had to do that on a replacement. And I really think when you're putting replacement windows into that van, you need to run at least a small bead before you go to place that, run a bead inside of that rubber trim because it's not going to fit like it's factory on that, and you're going to have a leak on that stuff. Okay, the boss says overtime starts next week, five days a week, ten, five days a week, ten hours a day. Uh, let's see. Hi, tech man. Taking the top off wouldn't be enough ventilation. Well, this is what I worry, Tech Man, about living inside of a very small 30 square feet, probably about 40 square feet, year in and year out, unless you're really meticulous. TR, <laughs> fasten your seatbelt. Unless you're really meticulous about cleanliness and Make sure you're washing your bedding once a week and airing it out and kind of wiping everything off with, uh, doesn't necessarily have to be disinfected, but at least wiping everything down. Uh, you know, well, Lysol or something like that. Doesn't have to be antibacterial, but something. Uh, yeah, thank you, Walter White. Uh, that ring door has a tiny transformer. Let's see, Dustin, what does that mean, Dustin? No swear, snow where I live, but I'm in it right now. Oh, so you're in a snow location. Yeah, that's good, Alter goes. You're nice. I'm kind of disappointed by the circle. They were all beat down by a Herman Monster person and a fat, dead, bloated Elvis. <laughs> Baby, anybody that thinks this is, uh, anybody thinks this is Herman? Bring it on. Woo. People drinking the Kool-Aid. Uh, let's see. My guess is since they call it. Well, I'll just tell you, uh, I don't know. Good to see you. Yeah, good for you, uh, GF. Yeah, I've, I've really stepped back from that. I got to let things just evolve. What's the point? The only thing I did today is I got an inquiry from a lawyer just confirming my contact information. That is all. Nothing else. No bullshit about civil suits. No crap about criminal nonsense. Okay. I want to be really clear. Take care, Alter Ego. It's nice to see you. I want to be really clear about that. Okay. That's the deal on that. Uh, but other than that, there's what else can I do? I gave a little advice on the windows and a little advice on drinking Gatorade. I don't want to see 
Marsh will end up in the hospital and be, uh, you know, burn up a couple thousand more, $10,000 of hospital costs. So let him drink some Gatorade and uh, try to beat that. Yeah, Ski Wee. There you go, baby. Like you're ever going to get better. <laughs> I'm like, what have you been smoking? Let's see. I always thought fag was more of an insult than a position on sexual prep. Well, welcome to the nut house. Uh, Carl said Marcel's going to crap his diaper if there's chargebacks. It, yeah, but Carl, what's the point? You know, I think after tonight, it'll definitely just be the regular cycle of hangouts. There's really nothing more. There's nothing more to say about it. Hi, Crystal. I know you don't. You're great. Crystal, you're fun. <laughs> uh, no, there's no working shower. No, the, the uh, tub and everything you got pulled out, I believe. See, I didn't even I didn't even watch the renovation vids, to be honest with you. I just didn't even watch. I didn't watch that along there. True, I want him to come back. I have this desperate need to troll an Elvis impersonator. Carl, Carl, you're you're an honest guy. I was Jen and I and Bobby were laughing tonight. What would people do if Marshall? They'd find somebody else. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what they uh, do. Let's see, Tucker Poon said he is by four more screens just to watch you, Rosie, like Happy Meal, huh? <laughs> Do you like Happy Meal? Don't you think Happy Meal is so cute? I mean, he runs around like this. Happy Meal runs around like this little, little loose cannon running around the deck. And he puts up a video once in a while showing his frou-frou New Year's Eve drinks of his little coconut cocktail things and his little liqueur sitting on the ironing board and he's got his he's got his little finger lobsters happy new year <laughs> <laughs> and then he does a video on his rail step his automatic rail step in texas it's a wonder the people in west texas don't drag him out of his rig and beat the living you know what adam look at my look at my step rail Voo. 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 <laughs> i mean i gotta i gotta really laugh yeah you gotta drink gatorade boss well you picked up the hours you wanted immediately that's great i'm glad to hear that that's excellent you proved my fishing gear, my boots, and everything, so I am ready to go whenever we want to uh, go out on the boat again or do some clamming. Uh, when I squirted, it was the same color of the Gatorade. Yeah, thanks for sharing. Uh, let's see. At least Jan is a sweetheart. I'm still in the still in the fence. You're a sweetheart, Susie. Yeah, so I'm all set, boss. I'm excited about going. I wear leggings underneath the jeans, and that's it. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, the butt scores. Hi, Janet. How are you? Nice to see you tonight. Welcome to La La Land here. Yeah, the boss, five days, 10 hours. That's excellent. Already pulling OT. Hey, Beg is fixing. Yes, we are, baby. Didn't you hear us talking about you today? Our, our VV, our Vegas vixens. Oh, boy. That's good. That's good, Janet. Janet, what are you thinking about the Super Bowl? What are you feeling? What are you feeling in your bones? I know Happy Meal has a whole channel. Happy Meal has dedicated his YouTube existence to me. Oh, thank you, Johnny. Thank you very much. I'm going to be doing another uh, video on the uh, disappearing world of stereo music. Uh, I'm going to be cooking. We're going to be making a pizza for the first time ever. I'm going to be making a pizza on the Hangout from scratch. I started the dough tonight. And it'll rise nicely. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. Talk print has no. Uh, let's see. I was doing this. So we're going to make that crystal tomorrow night. Teeny weeny bikini baking. We're going to raise money for the multiple sclerosis society tomorrow night. So we, by my calculation, I think people have already donated over $2,000 over two weeks to various causes, which I think is outstanding. Everything from Wounded Warriors to Ronald McDonald House to um, what else did we do? I can't even remember what we did. We've Oh, we did St. Jude's Hospital Children's Cancer Center. So that's great. Uh, Ski, we usually says keep your butt off the counter when you're doing that. Have you ever made bubble pizza where the crust is little balls? I never made that. Never made that. Did you see the man who refused to die, nude lady boy? No, but I Patches is a nice guy, right? Patches has really been through hell. Yeah, I'll tell you, TR, you got the best. You got the best. The Technics is. I wonder how much you paid. They're not cheap, but you got really top, top, top of the line. Well, shrimp between pepperoni. I like to donate to them. Yeah, I'm gonna finish. I'm whipping up that secret sauce tea bags. You bet. Yeah, I got my own special sauce. For the pizza, you bet. You should rinse those sheets out in the tub and left them. Mm -hmm. Eagles, yeah, I think so too, Francis. I'm, I got to kind of go with the Eagles myself. Do you want Okay, yeah, that's nice. You really got a nice unit, uh, TR. My advice too is. Secure an extra needle cartridge for that if you can, so you just have it. I have two backups for the Motorola here. Two uh, two backups for that. Uh, yeah, Vegas Fix and Elvis has had uh, really bad, uh, really bad runs for weeks. So I was trying to tell him to get some Gatorade in him and get uh, go to the drugstore and pick something up. Uh, ever seen a guy on YouTube who only eats pizza? He's like two big frozen pizzas. That's always no. What's his What's his channel, Bergs? What channel is that? You really believe that he just eats two big frozen pizzas a day? I can't think of much that's more unhealthy than that. <sighs> See, I hope that. <laughs> Oh, man, Skiwi. Uh, good night, Crystal. Good to see you, honey. Take care. Thanks for coming in. Best of Mike. Tell him be careful on the road out there. It's winter time in a big rig, big loads. Uh, yeah, taxpayers will have to cover Carl the Cuck. So I'm just hoping he'd just take my advice and pick up a little something. To... Yeah, it's to take out eating and all that. I'm not even sure. Yeah, I think you could do that, Janet. You could do the AMSR or AMSR, ASMR, whatever the hell it is. Okay, take care, Crystal. Have a good night. Stay safe. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, it's not a channel. It's just a news story on this guy who only eats pizza. Just search for it on here. Okay, I will. Uh I'm not sure Francis was ever a big Patriots fan. I think it was more, uh, yeah. I think uh, Francis was more, uh, by the way, can enjoy wearing the diapers for a reason. Okay, take care, TR. Thanks for stopping by. It's always an honor to have you here. Uh, let's see. Sometimes you got to work out and eat healthy. I do neither. And I do and never get sick. That's cool, Dustin. That's like I am. I, I work out a lot. I work the exercise ball. Uh, you can see some of them on video. Hi, hi, Lily. Nice to see you. Um, hope you're doing good. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm a wanker too, but uh, uh, I just come to have fun and chat. I think that whole. I think that whole thing is moving on. What can anybody do? There's nothing to do. Um, you just wait for time to go by. Yeah, I think so. Uh, what's the vitz? I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I tell you, the other end coming up, it's pretty awful. He's pretty sick right now. He's pretty ill. I told him, you better, you better go to sleep and get some rest and 
and uh, pushing yourself with all this stuff going on in that. And you better drink some Gatorade and take care of yourself with that. T. Berg said, then there's a guy who had a Big Mac for lunch every day since 1975. That's on here somewhere. He really, he's really fit, actually. Oh, yeah. So it's not that guy, T. Berg's, that had the, um, that that movie was made about, Super Size Me. That guy that ate, ate like McDonald's at every meal or something like that. Yeah, I told him about that Gatorade, kind of the same thing. Uh, kind of the same thing to have the, uh, have the Gatorade. Where's Debbie Lynn tonight? Hmm? Where's the Debbie Lynn? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. I don't think so, Ski Wee. Well, <laughs> oh boy, Ski Wee, you never did say what it was that uh, bothered you so much about coach that you had to. Uh, you had to beat him into the ground. I thought you liked that. I liked. I thought you liked his position on the not asking for money and kind of standing on your own, your own two feet. So that kind of surprised me. Because this now it's his channel says this channel does not exist anymore. Oh, I'm getting paid to talk shit about you. Right? <laughs> I don't know, Lily. It sounds like uh, sounds like maybe uh, Lacey Rocks is on the loose, huh? Uh, let's see. No, I mean, uh, okay. That's, so you simply asked him that. That's not what uh, that's not what I heard. But okay, you know, because a lot of people have asked a lot of people have asked that him that over time, and they never. Uh, he never had a problem with it, so I don't know. <clears throat> Still trying to find a send button. My wife and daughter-in-law are both licensed practice. They say he needs a steroid shot to help boost his immunity system. I just don't think it's healthy to, uh, I commented on his video about, uh, he was showing some uh, travel trailers and stuff. I said, that's probably the size you need to live in, like RV Deb or RV Lady or something like that. Living in a camper van year after year, I don't know, Jen. She might not be there, I don't even know where RV Lady went. She just disappeared she two months ago. She had pneumonia and just like disappeared. Yeah. So I'm just. Uh, so it might not be healthy. Oh, okay. Uh, Talk from China building up. Uh, see, are you and Tucker Prune still working together? I don't say that we work together. We just communicated before. <clears throat> I've been uh, I've been uh, I've chatted with Tucker Prune just on tribes chat for over a year he'd be in there i mean he was no fan of rosie but he was he just said i don't like people to ask for special rights and expect that they're get treated better than anybody else and i was total agreement with that <clears throat> uh, let's see he's kept track he would say there's he said 30,000 big Macs since 1975 can you imagine that 30,000 Big Macs. Hey, I'm not gay, but my boyfriend is. Welcome to the chats. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's been doing much of that, Franny. I think he's been pretty much under the weather for like a week. Janet, the Big Mac is definitely smaller now. What was the other thing that I had the other day? Jen, what do we have the... What did we have the other day that was smaller, too? We had something that we ordered, and I said, this is definitely smaller. Was it the double cheeseburger? And it had shrunk like it looked, you know, it just looked about 20% smaller than it used to be. I think you're exactly right. Yeah. No, Lily, I haven't, uh, I haven't struck any deal with, Tucker to build a channel. I never really thought 
And honestly, Lily, I never thought that uh, tort people ever cared about building a channel anyway. I mean, what's the point? Is that wrong? I mean, I thought that they were just here to, you know, be be justice warriors. And it's like uh, Nor Becker's video said, don't sell shitty merch marked up at ridiculous prices and don't uh, don't eBay and all that. I never thought uh, that um, I never I never saw a uh, troll at a round table that really cared about building up a channel except stickers media but i don't even think he cared i think people just enjoyed his content so um rose you wouldn't lie to us about you and tucker poon seeker no i wouldn't i wouldn't i wouldn't lie to you no nope. we don't have a secret agreement just i'd say uh exchange of thoughts is what i would say nothing else there's you know speculation and um, confirmation and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think Stickers is back. Yeah, I think he is. I think he is. Marshall used to take me to the movies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, me, you heard I'm really Lacey Rocks. Huh? Lacey Rocks would want you to believe Lacey Rocks would want you to believe that I am a non and all these people on here. <sighs> Just like Lacey Rocks says, I flagged and, and uh, got Lacey a strike on the channel. <laughs> Vegas Vixen says Drory is. Uh, no, I don't think stick. I don't know stickers. I think stickers went off for a while, but there's a new one. Uh, how come Tucker Poon never questions eBay like Jack Sparrow or DW Red or stickers? All three of them had GoFundMe's that they're too cowardly to call them. Uh, stickers Media had a GoFundMe? Well, I remember what Jack Sparrow's was. I donated to that, but I don't, I don't feel bad about that. Uh, no, Janet, we can't. We're in the midst of the uh, shit field. Uh, uh, we're in the middle of the uh, storm here. Now, Narcee's uh, Narcee's car broke down. His uh, his chip went bad, I think, on the computer or something. Let's see, Stickers had to go fund me for a new Mac and a camera and some other bullshit, but apparently he was blessed by the circle jerkers. Hmm. Interesting. I never knew that. I guess it all depends who you are asking for the money. I didn't know that. Uh, let's see, Rosie, you always talk to folks who get banned. I don't know. I don't have anybody banned, boss. You ever in it? <clears throat> oh, good, yeah, Lily. Let's see. You always. I'm not sure what that means, boss. Then he suddenly became Camperville, and I was not lost. My dad. Sad. Okay. Well, I guess if people wanted to donate. Well, ski weed, that's pretty raw. I mean, I was I was happy to to do that. I you know, we got along great for a year. <sighs> happy Thursday, fun finder. Nice to see you. No, I just moved in the just moved in the chair a little bit. Most of us know Tucker uh where we'll uh let's see you rev on the folks who get banned from youtube i don't know uh nobody ever really ever gets banned from youtube so i don't know people always come back stickers media has been banned how many times he's back elvis got banned uh uh, no, Lily, you're just, you don't get any traction in here. Let's see. Just had the police here. Someone has threatened to kill me in the morning. I'm not joking. Really? 
Really? What's going on, Tom? Tom? Why would they threaten to kill you? Yeah, Janet, you have to catch up with the, uh, yeah. Uh, I will not live in fear. Yeah, who did that? Family or somebody? Family did that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the way I want it. Uh, Lily, I don't even know what the question is, and you don't have a right to question me about anything. So, oh, yeah, I serve him well. That's it. Yep, I mentioned him. Let's see, no donation requires that I live in that solitude, which is painful in youth, but delicious in the years of maturity. Albert Einstein. <laughs> yeah, I keep the dirt bags alive. That's right. Uh, that's exactly right. I live in a solitude which is painful in use, but delicious in the years of maturity. Hmm. Painful in youth is probably trying to trying to learn to socialize, and then when you're older, you love the peace and quiet. Uh, what's the recap of the week so far? I don't really know, Vegas Fixing. There hasn't been one one inch push forward on anything that I can see about. Just a, he's putting he's putting new, not new, but uh, oh, he's putting um, windows those vented the uh, open windows that open on the uh, Lisa Marie. Uh, let's see. I don't time anybody out, T. Bergs. I'll leave that to uh, uh, Greg on Saturday night. Uh, let's see. Wow, you got a really dangerous guy in your midst there, uh, Tom Tom. It's been on a bender of crack, heroin, and Xanax. Really? That's it. Uh, no, they don't over. They don't. Uh, hey, hey, Brandon. Yeah, Skiwi times me out. He says, "Oh, as soon as he sees me, well, I'm banned out of tribes chat, but as soon as he sees me over there, he's oh, good. Since uh, since he's not here, I'll just uh, psh, ban. He always bans me out." Uh, you think he'll do a fantastic hawking job like last time? I told him don't do it. Just run a little bead around the inside of the uh, rubber gasket material and carefully put that in. Yeah, we're going to have pizza. That's right. Yum, yum, yum. That's it. <clears throat> I'll tell you, that's kind of a scary situation when you have somebody pop that popped up on that. Yeah, you got to hook up the electro pulse machine. That's right. I begged him, don't put uh, don't put caulking on like you did last time. I took four hours in Chicago scraping off the side windows there. I never got to the front. Uh, uh, God love tribe. I always loved tribe. Yes, I did. It's going to be pretty deep dish, Bergs. Going to be the standard pretty deep dish over there. Take those old parts of the junkyard to get his disposal feedback. He should. Uh, yep. Hey, Francis, you had uh, pizza today and a beer. What kind of, what kind of, you get a pitcher of beer, Francis? Did you get a pitcher of beer? Francis likes that Miller High Life. Yeah, the oscilloscope and the current pulser. Bzz. Donnie's Donnie's story. I'm not sure if there's much of a. Uh, I'm not sure if there's much of a uh, market for the old windows that he's going to pull. <laughs> 
Walter White. You cracked me up. Uh, yes, Elvis is still under threat. That is funny as hell. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a Coors Light. It's about eight thirty. Yeah, Joseph. Um, you know I'm gonna have to try. Hey, Big Papa Pump. Nice to see you. I'm gonna have to try anchovies again. I didn't buy any for uh, for the pizza. I did start the dough tonight. I'll show you. Oh boy, this is ready to go. I started this a couple of hours ago. All nice and uh, all nice and foamy, seasoned, ready to go. All we have to do is fold in some more flour tomorrow afternoon and refold it tomorrow night for the hangout. We've got our pizza dough ready to go, and I'll discuss the recipe for that tomorrow night. Okay, so we are ready to go. Ready to go. Eddie says, hey, Rosie, if you... You have to make a Philly cheesesteak pizza. That's pretty interesting. <sighs> no, it didn't, Skiwi. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty good, France. It's going to add a little more, get a little more uh, flour in there, and then work that dough really good, roll that out, spin that a little bit, and that's going to be good. We're going to make, uh, okay, Susie, welcome back. And we're gonna make uh, a really good spaghetti. We're gonna make a really good red sauce too. It's not like you open a jar of uh, ragu and you pour it on the pizza. It's, you got to have your own stuff. How did you start collecting stereo stuff? I guess uh, when I was younger, a family member had a uh, Heath kit, little Heath kit amplifier, and an Ico tuner and i thought it was always really cool to look at the uh, tubes glowing and all that stuff and i was always fascinated by electronics and i and i would build a heath kit do little heath kit projects like uh, F am fm tuners and stuff like that so i i always was uh, fascinated by electronics and stuff so no i'm not ski we i'm gonna roll i'm gonna not gonna roll it out on the same counter i put my butt on when i'm gonna hang out i told you every saturday i get the clorox wipes out and we wipe down everything yeah we put some uh i did put some olive oil in today joe i used uh two tablespoons of olive oil today i used a a uh, tablespoon of uh, Asian rice wine vinegar, which is my secret umami ingredient there. I use some salt. I think I have three cups of flour in there. So, yeah, Lily's a broken record. I don't think anybody even pays attention to that anymore. So, yeah, going to sauce it up. Hey, Stella Carp, nice to see you. Uh, yeah, Tech Man says I have an Ico test to... Uh, tube tester my dad built in the 50s. That's really cool. Uh, uh, and apply amperage to your body. Let's see. Ram said, Rosie, I'm going to be making cherry cheesecake while watching your pizza cook. That's going to be fun to do that tomorrow night. That was a great idea Berg's had to, uh, to make that. And we can raise a little bit of money for multiple sclerosis society too uh boss is happy he's making big coin now uh oh lily you'll live without knowing that knowledge it won't kill you trust me uh. 
Ooh, it's cold outside. I had to go out to the uh, Shine Shack to get a beer. Yeah, Skiwi said, what's with that cheesy-ass Yule log fireplace? Skiwi, it's just an electronic, uh, it's just an electronic fireplace, but it does have a, a blower that uh, does push heat into the room, so it's kind of nice. Don't you think it looks pretty nice with the JBL speaker there? I think it looks pretty good. You prefer olive oil or KY? When uh, probably I don't. I never like KY. I like Astro Glide. Much better tea bag. Much better. Uh, uh. Well, it's Thursday night, uh, Skiwi. I thought we would celebrate you being over here tonight. It's a great day. Yeah, I think it looks kind of nice. Yeah, thank you, Stell. I hope some people can. Uh, I hope some people can get that. Uh, Lily, I never but heard about anything. I'll just go to the. Uh, I'll go to confession on Saturday afternoon, and I'll feel like a million bucks when I come out. Uh, uh. Susan Brown, nice to see you. Nice to see you. I didn't pay for Elvis's trip. Southwest Airlines paid for it. <laughs> That's the beauty of that. Free vouchers, baby, every December. Use them or lose them. I think I paid, uh, what did I pay, like $7.83 in taxes or something like that on it? <sighs> yep. I really like what you've done to your house, right? It's really something to be proud of. Thank you, Ram. That's so sweet of you. I appreciate that. No, this is uh, this is the receipt from the fishing license, uh, Ski Wee, the uh, 2000, 2018... California uh, fishing license. So we have to have one every year to go at crabbing and fishing. It's just a uh, store receipt for what was bought. I bought a jacket. I bought the boots. Really nice. Send me a plane ticket and I'll give you some great product. That would be it. There's Walter White. Walter White. <laughs> I wish I could edit video like Walter White. <laughs> I don't know. All this stuff's been good for my diet, Susie. I've dropped like 15 pounds in three weeks. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Why did you buy a camo jacket to go fishing in the ocean? Do you think the fish wants me? It's just, it's very warm, Skiwi. 
and it's uh, it seemed to be mostly what's on the rack there. And it it was fit real nice, and it was on sale, so it kind of looked real nice. <clears throat> Did you like that? What are you doing going fishing, California, in the winter? Only Scott Peterson does, <laughs> does that for real, Bergs. No shit. We already went out in November. You can see the playlist when we went out on the ocean. You can see the uh, great white shark attack a uh, sea lion out there and bring that down. It was pretty gruesome, and we caught our limit of fish and crabs. It was amazing. It was a great trip. We had so much fun. I can't wait to go out again. <clears throat> Did some nice video the whole trip. <clears throat> this fishing trip is going to end in tragedy for Missy Jen. Just like, I don't think Missy Jen's going to go out on the water. Lily says, Rose, did you get butt hurt being labeled a liar and enabler? I think judging by the look at me, I'm I'm pretty good. I guess I just got through that. Okay, Lily. Uh, that was Scott Peterson's alibi. Hey, Mike G, yeah, who goes who goes uh who who what family guy goes fishing on Christmas Eve, right? Hello. <laughs> no way. There's so much family stuff going on. Yeah, the boss's boots fell apart in the boat. That was pretty funny. Yeah, Janet, uh, we caught Janet's limit. It was a lot of fun out there. A lot of fun. Yeah, we had an Alaska mal. I had an Alaska Malamute Wolfie. Good old Wolfie was an Alaska Malamute Shepherd mix. Janet remembers Wolfie. You think that uh, seafood's all tainted, huh? No, I think Wolfie was a uh, Wolfie was a great companion for a lot of years. Wonderful dog. Uh, uh, let's see. Walter says, "Rose, did you have Jen of security detail tonight?" Over on, on. You have Jen on, I guess, security details. She is always ready. She's always loaded for action. We always sleep with the loaded one. That's cool. I have a rosy, uh, what is it? A rosy plus wolfy kitten outside, wild and sweet like you. <clears throat> Uh, if Elvis loses his AdSense, will you let him live there in Casa de Rosa? No, I don't think losing an AdSense is going to be that important to uh, to him, Bergs. I think he'll just have people kicking it into PayPal. Uh, let's see, you got two kitties. Yeah, well, she didn't want to go, Skiwi, so that was the thing about that. So then she came home and we kind of laughed about it. Janet says, I sleep naked. I know that. <laughs> How do I know that? How do I know that? How do I know that? Many's a night. Hey, Roscoe, nice to see you. <clears throat> we'll let the round table come over and ask me then, Lily. Let's see. Roscoe said, it's Australia Day here and lamb chops and... Shrimps and beer, oi, oi, oi. That's it. Yeah, happy, happy Australia Day. I guess that's that's like your, uh, yeah, get out of my bed, Rosie. <laughs> Fish husbandry. I don't even know what the hell that means. Oh, uh, shit. I guess it's like Australia Independence Day, Roscoe, or something like that. I don't even know. Yeah, point to me, Annie, I know. Uh, 
I would say eliminate the middleman, Billy, and uh, send over the teams. So, uh, how are you going to release the secure, secure <laughs> the security video into uh, the new branch of videos? What do you think about that, Walter? Should I have? Uh, should we have another Waco up here? <sighs> is my boyfriend? Is my boyfriend over there? And Tucker Poons? Oh, you're getting me excited. Oh, it's when Captain Cook come, came to Australia in 17. So, okay. I didn't know that. So that's a year. Oh, I thought you were talking about uh, Tribe over there. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. 1777, that was a year after the uh, Declaration of Independence. The Maoris ate him, Roscoe, when he came here. That's pretty frightening. Yeah, Captain Cook. I, th I thought he got it in, uh, I thought Captain Cook died in Hawaii. I thought he died in uh, Hawaii. What do you want her to do, Dave? <clears throat> Now the Muslims and African are here. I guess you have a lot of immigrants, Roscoe, from Indonesia to come over, huh? Indonesia is like the uh, fourth most populated, fourth most populated country in the world. Yeah, I killed the boss's fish. Yep, I'm not good at animal husbandry. Your fish are looking pretty good. We got to come down there and spend the uh, spend the night before we take off for our big three week trip. Oh, he did, but some of the some of the Maoris came from there. Okay. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Yeah, no more shitholers from shithole countries. Asia's okay. They cook bloody great food. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <clears throat> yes, they do. I enjoy that. Dimensions will always be expressed in the least unusable terms. Velocity, for example, will be expressed in fur launch for Fortnite. I always remember a... Uh, a problem that we had in uh, in uh, I think it was engineering class or something like that about the, how many uh, horses running how many furlongs per fortnight I remember that uh, I remember that specific question on an examination how many furlongs per fortnight All right, well, I'm going to go about 15 more minutes and then call it a night. I need to get a good sleep. Another big morning tomorrow. And then a big night tomorrow night. Uh, the, you know, when you took the test when the school was good, it wasn't at the school. It was a test center, Ski Wee. I tried to tell you that a million times. Uh, uh, Ski Wee, I always had some sexy, tiny, little black correctional officer females with him. Yeah, he always, the boss always had a crew with him. It wasn't the University of Chicago, it was a test center. I told you that a million times. Oh, Lily, I never go to bed mad at you, honey. I don't even, I don't pause you a second of thought in my day, trust me. Uh, all right. Yeah, bad boys, bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? All right. Yeah, the boss, the boss had his own little entourage there to follow him around. Uh, let's see. When you close down, I have to go back over under my accounts. It's how it's done. You gotta love Skiwi. 
Anyway, boss, I'm glad you picked up the hours. That's what you wanted to do anyway. So you were going to pick up work on another day. So five days a week, 10 hours a day, picking up some overtime. I don't know why they, I guess they, yeah, over 40. So that's pretty nice. Makes for some long days, though. So, yeah, what you going to do? So, Bergs, it'll be a lot of fun tomorrow night, huh? We'll get that. Uh, we'll get that pizza made. We got the dough already cranking out tonight. That's going to be awesome. Yes, your bestie is uh, had a real good day today. Probably going on to six. Yeah, well, don't kill yourself with sixty hours a week in there. That's for darn sure. Hey, Joseph, nice to see you. Happy Australia Day. Hope you had a good one. Uh, let's see, probably going to go and I wouldn't try to work seven days a week. I think that that is a bit much. And, uh, what you going to do? What you going to do when he uh, toofs on you, Carl? Uh, Moses, I remember when you worked 13, uh, 13 days in a row. I love my Gerald. I love my Gerald. I miss Gerald so much. I'm counting the days till Gerald gets back. Yes, yes, yes. Uh. Joseph Kane, what did you do for Australia Day? Did you uh, have your, did you have a barbecue today? Uh, no, I don't think Tribe is on my payroll. What's in what's insane but great place? What prison? <laughs> the prison? Uh Stop by the night hall. Call. No, I'm not going to stop by now. I don't even think uh, uh, I already had the address of that place. Coburn already doxed it out last year. No, Nighthawk's okay. I don't have anything against him. Uh, let's see. Okay, going over to my daughter soon. Do they have Do they have fireworks or something like that on Australia Day? What do they do? It's, I know it's a holiday. I know it's late in Friday afternoon, I think. But here we have the tradition like the 4th of July of fireworks and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if you guys have the same thing down there or not. Oh, they can't have fireworks too. The best beer in the business. Sorry, boss. <laughs> yeah, I think Roscoe is on the East Coast. I think the uh, Joseph Kane is out on the West Coast of Australia. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, Lily, because your questions are boring. Nobody cares about your questions. Nobody cares about butthurt. Nobody cares about, I mean, I just try to tell you, it's a non-starter, honey. It doesn't even, you know, it's like class D trolling at its worst. Uh, let's see, Roscoe said, Rosie, fireworks are legal here. You mean like a explosive kind or just anything goes like in Macau when people were holding four foot bottle rockets while their friend launched lights it and the thing goes flying out of their hand and rips their shirt off uh, off their back. I'll never forget that. Yeah, Lily, you can pretty much figure I'll never answer your questions in here, but you keep typing them, honey. You never know. One day you might strike it rich in here. Uh, yep, I am from Baltimore. Yes, I am, Tom, Tom. Yes, I am. So 
What are you going to do there? Do you have family there, Tom? Tom, is that what you have? Okay, Roscoe said anything that goes bang. So bottle rockets, they don't care about M80s. You can't, you can't have like guns in Australia, but you can have M80s. You can have bottle rockets, firecrackers. All that stuff is legal. Okay, let's see. Joseph said we still have uh, fireworks at night right here in the West. It's cool. Joseph Kane, I have to say this to you. Looking at your house, I've never seen a more meticulously kept home in my life than you live in. It looks like every it looks like every blade of grass was cut by surgical shears on your front yard. It's so beautiful. It almost looks like it almost looks like a model that you would build for like a train garden, a huge scale train garden. It's pretty amazing to me uh, to see something that's that, that beautifully manicured. Pretty amazing. You really keep a nice place. <clears throat> Fireworks on Rosie's Hangout sometimes. Sometimes, Susie, absolutely. <clears throat> I always say you want to piss the troll off. You don't answer. You don't give him any attention on, on, on the hangout. And they're just pounding the keys. So pissy, you know. I love that. <laughs> Why don't you answer me? Why don't you answer me? I want to know. I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> I have to laugh so hard. Oh, wow. Is that true? Okay. I was going to say, because it looks so amazing out there, Joseph Kane. Is that because uh, our water bill is expensive there? Is it, does it cost a lot of money to irrigate uh, the property? Okay. Happy Aussie day, my Aussie mates. That's cool. Uh, yeah, Dustin, take care of that. Yeah. Handle that, uh, handle that for me, Dustin. You got a class D troller in there. So, yeah, handle my light work for me. I'm trying to think of uh, whether you get a lot of rainfall. Don't you get a lot of uh, thunderstorms and stuff like that there in Western Australia? I don't know. It's not the, it's not the outback. So, oh, water limited for, water's limited for lawns. Okay. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I don't know whether you have a deficiency of rainfall like we have here. A lot of years, your drought situations. We used to have the uh, drought police that would come along and and uh, tell people, "Don't water your lawns." Uh, hey, uh. 857 guys i am going to call it at night it has been a really fun i don't even know what time on i started it's been like two hours at least i really had a blast tonight thank you guys for being on susan annie good night lynn love you janet love you boss love you be careful at work it ain't no yoke okay and uh yeah, between rain and snow, my lawn is dead. Anyway, hope you all have a good one. Roscoe, all my friends in Australia, Ron Stoninger, uh, Joseph Kane, Blinky, everybody in Australia, have a wonderful Australia day. I love you guys. Australia is always near and dear to my heart. Mm. Have a great night, everybody.